the Russian and Ukrainian war continuing to inflict damage to each other, and as more people continue to suffer, the question now becomes, how long will this conflict last, and who will win out in the end? While Ukraine alone may not be powerful enough to deter Russian forces, allied countries under NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, are more than willing to help Ukraine by providing weaponry and other military aid. There recently has been rumors about Ukraine gaining a very strong weapon, the Archer Artillery System, under their arsenal, care of Sweden. But is any of this true? What makes this rumored weapon the talk of the town in the military industry right now? In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the Archer Artillery System, why many would want Ukraine to have it, and what all of its specifications and features are. If you enjoy content like these, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video, as I appreciate all of your support. Now, let's get started. The Archer Artillery System, also known as Archer FH-77BW-L52, or the Artillery System 08, is a self-propelled gun developed for both Norway and Sweden. While production of the Archer Artillery System officially began in 2009, the official development of this weapon dates back to the mid-90s. In 1995, a self-propelled system based on the Haubitz FH-77 was developed, but with technology soon advancing, it became aged and less efficient. This project would then split into two and eventually become the FH-77BD and the FH-77BW. Both projects are based on a lengthened version of the FH-77B mounted on a modified Volvo Construction Equipment A30D articulated haul truck. Sweden and Norway would then order several units of these prototypes. Eventually, the contract to develop this weapon was awarded to Boffers, now known as Bay Systems Boffers. Using the prototype FH-77BW, the Archer entered the designing phase in September 2006 and entered the development the year after in January 2007 under the Swedish Army. In 2008, the Swedish government approved the final development and procurement of the Archer artillery system. Later that year, Sweden and Norway would sign a cooperative agreement in developing the Archer artillery system. Bay Systems would head the development of the artillery stem, except for the remote weapon system, which was handled by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. The Archer was initially set to make its military debut in 2011, but due to unforeseen technical problems, it made its military service debut in October 2013 instead. While the Swedish Army completed its first four pre-serial production FH-77BWL-52 Archer systems on September 23, 2013, the Norwegian government withdrew from the project on December 1, 2013. As it is a very new weapon, currently, only the Swedish Army has a hold of this weapon. The US and the Swiss Army are both looking to obtain this weapon, as both forces have inspected the system in 2022. As mentioned, the Norwegian Army backed away from obtaining this weapon, with reports claiming that they ordered 24 units of the Archer. Since Norway did not push through with the purchase of the 24 Archer units, these instead went to the Swedish Army, who already had 24 units, totaling 48 Archer units in their possession. The Archer Artillery System is a self-propelled gun that is mounted on a modified Volvo A30D 6x6 articulated all-terrain hauler vehicle. Going to the dimensions, the first thing you'll notice about the Archer Artillery System is its massive length. Its overall length measures at a whopping 14.1 meters. Its width measures at around 3 meters, and its height measures at around 3.3 meters, though the height can reach 4 meters if equipped with a lemur system a fire control system by Bay Systems as well. The system weighs in at approximately 33,500 kilograms. The vehicle is designed for high strategic, operational, and tactical mobility. The vehicle runs on a 340 horsepower diesel engine that allows for a very impressive maximum speed of 90 kilometers per hour at a cruising range of 400 to 500 kilometers. The suspension used for the vehicle is a 6x6, solid axles, multi-link hydraulic suspension, which allows the vehicle to move even under 100 cm deep snow. The wheels of the vehicle are emergency-ready, as they are of the Hutchinson AM VFI brand. 
This allows the vehicle to continue driving, even if all the wheels are punctured or blasted from mines. Despite the vehicle weighing almost 40 tons, the vehicle can be transported via aircraft through the new A400M aircraft, though the vehicle can be transported via railroad as well. A large hydraulically operated stabilizer is located in the rear of the chassis and is lowered with the vehicle in the selected firing position. The vehicle is heavily armored, able to protect the crew inside against 7.62 mm rounds, armor-penetrating rounds, and 6 kg mines. The vehicle cabin and engine compartment are fully armored, and the cab is filled with bullet and fragmentation-proof windows. The cabin holds up to four crew members inside, as the weapon system itself is operable by three to four people. The crew consists of one commander, one driver, and one or two operators, though in case of emergencies, a driver and gunner can operate the vehicle. Mounted on top of the vehicle is a remote-controlled weapon station, RWS, that acts as the self-protection system of the vehicle. The RWS is operated remotely. It has mounted sensors and a stabilized weapon with sensors underneath the weapon. The whole unit costs approximately $4,500,000. The main weapon of the Archer Artillery System is the 155mm 52 caliber gun howitzer. This gun is equipped with target acquisition and direct fire features, which allow for accurate and deadly targeting. The gun is connected to numerous systems for better accuracy and precision. This includes a fire control system, a laying system, an efficiently set up line of power cables and flow lines, inertial navigation, and a muzzle velocity radar. The gun has an intensive fire rate of 20 rounds in 2.5 minutes, calculating to about 75 rounds per hour, whereas reloading is estimated to be around 10 minutes. The vehicle carries 21 155mm projectiles in the fully automatic magazine. If used with Bay Boffers rounds, the firing range is around 35 kilometers. However, if slotted with precision-guided Raytheon Boffers M982 Excalibur rounds, this firing range extends to an impressive range of 60 kilometers. In addition, the Excalibur rounds are equipped with a GPS guidance system, meaning that despite the long range, this ammunition does not lose accuracy or precision on its way to the target. As mentioned earlier in the video, another weapon is equipped on the roof of the vehicle. This is a remote-controlled Lemur 7.62mm general purpose machine gun that boasts many features which allow for lethal firing. This includes a day and night vision, gyro stability, fragment protection, and electro-optical sights. Because the weapon is remotely controlled, the machine gun can be aimed and fired from the inside of the cabin without putting crew members at risk. Real or Fake Archer Artillery System in Ukraine In most recent news, Sweden has gotten a hold of more Archer Artillery Systems. In June 2022, the Swedish Defense Material Administration signed a letter of intent to procure 24 more Archer units from Bay Systems Boffers as part of the country's effort to add more artillery units to their defensive forces. Recently, rumors about Ukraine obtaining several units of the Archer artillery system have been making its rounds on the internet, specifically on popular social media platforms Facebook and Twitter. However, credible sources Reuters and Verifiles debunked these claims. They have confirmed that the picture used that sparked the rumor dates back to 2015, and the location of the picture is Sweden and not Ukraine. There has been no official document nor report of Sweden transferring Archer artillery system units to Ukraine as of yet. And as it stands, Sweden is the only country in the world to have these units on their arsenal. The Future of the Archer Artillery System and its Involvement in the Russo-Ukrainian War The Archer Artillery System boasts impressive feats, especially being as mobile as it is for its weight. It is safe to assume that we won't be seeing the Archer artillery system on the Russo-Ukrainian battlefield soon. However, the chances of Ukraine procuring this weapon system is leagues above Russia's, who basically has a near-zero chance of getting a hold of this weapon. In early July of 2022, Finland and Sweden have both completed NATO ascension talks, meaning that their inclusion in the organization is within sight. And once this happens, they may send Archer Artillery System units to Ukraine as part of military aid. Sweden has already given Ukraine many military equipment, such as weapons and missiles before. But once Sweden is officially part of NATO, 
chances of the Archer artillery system being sent to Ukraine will skyrocket. In addition, one of the two potential users of the Archer artillery system, the United States Army, is also allied with Ukraine under NATO. This relatively young weapon may enter the Russo-Ukrainian battlefield under Ukraine's control. The Archer artillery system is uncontested with its firepower to mobility ratio on the battlefield and will prove a very great asset to Ukraine if it does end up in their arsenal as well. Conclusion The Archer artillery system is an impressive unit that is currently exclusive to the Swedish forces. We have not seen this unit in action yet, but from its specifications and features, we know that it is a highly capable, very mobile, and a powerful military force. How do you think that Sweden should send a few units of the Archer to Ukraine as part of their military aid? How do you think the Archer will change the tides of battle once Ukraine gets a hold of this weapon? Let me know your thoughts on these questions in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Until next time.